About hyperventilation syndrome, in point is that it's terrifying physical symptoms, numbness, tingling, muscle cramps, and even chest pain are not caused by a really real lack of oxygen, but by breathing too well and effectively blowing off too much carbon dioxide. So when um, a person hyperventilates, usually due to anxiety, panic disorders, they exhale CO2, carbon dioxide, faster than their body produces it. This causes the level of carbon dioxide in the blood to plummet, leading to a condition caused respiratory alkalosis. So the blood becomes too alkaline. These changes in blood pH has a dramatic effect on calcium. It causes calcium ions to bind more tightly to albumin, reducing the amount of free ionized calcium available to the body's nerves and muscles. It, it is this sudden drop in functional calcium, hypocalcemia, that causes the classic terrifying neurological symptoms, paresthesias, numbness and tangling classically around the mouth. Circumoral, huh? Circumoral, and in the fingertips. Tetany, so painful muscle spasm and cramps, most famously carpopedal spasm, where the hands and feet cramp into a flexed, claw-like position. And yes, it mimics a stroke of a, or a heart attack. A patient can present to emergency room convinced that they are having stroke due to numbness or a heart attack due to chest pain from intercostal muscle spasm, when the root cause is simply overbreathing, driving by anxiety. And the cure is counterintuitive. The classic, though now debated, emergency treatment is to have the patients breathe into a paper bag. This forces them to rebreathe their own exhaled, exhaled CO2, which rapidly raises so the CO2 level in their blood corrects the alkalosis, frees up the calcium and resolves the symptoms. It's a low-tech solution to a problem that feels uh, life-threatening. So the phys it's, it's actually it's a, vis a vicious cycle. The physical symptoms caused by the low carbon dioxide are themselves terrifying, which increases the patient's anxiety, which makes them hyperventilate even more, which lowers their carbon dioxide further. It's a self-perpetuating panic loop driven by no history, physiology. Okay? Stay blessed.